guys, welcome back to a new Minecraft episode. This, um, yeah, I didn't really know what to say there. But this is so far the Pillager Outpost. Reinforced most of it with Deep Slate. Pretty cool, right? I hope, I hope you like it. If you don't, that, that is absolutely fine. You obviously don't have to like it. But you can if you want. And this is the little area that I've made. And then down here, it's just a nice little area. I don't know what's going to be used for, but definitely a nice area. And I want to have like a nice streak of deep sight. Okay, so this, the reason why I did the middle part last is because I want to build something there, specifically this, this whole pattern with dark oak obviously there, then dark oak here, and that completes the little area that we've made for right now. But if you didn't see last episode, we did make a nice little end portal, which I think is pretty cool. And nether portal. We are not going to start working in, in the nether portal. I want to actually make something. I saw a video and it did very much inspire me to make this. Um, there, then, there, eh, there, that should be good. Now, you can see that they're floating, and I dislike it, but I sort of want to make a building that... Oh yeah, if you saw a comment that was from an account, um, that wasn't named something, okay, I can't really say the name out loud, but just, if you see, don't click on hashtag turtle, there should be something below, down at the bottom. Hashtag Turtle Army. Please do not click on that stuff. That is my other account. And... Yeah. So, for the outside, we're going to use mainly Deep Slate. But actually, the inside, I would say, is pretty cool. Is this is going to be a mine shaft, so we're basically just going to dig down here, dig down, dig down. And the reason why I mined out this cube area, now obviously we're going to have to put a place where the pillagers can actually stay. Well, not stay, I guess, just go down from it but the outside is going to be made from deep sight which is a pretty good oh yeah um they finally updated where shovels no longer <laughs> because i'm in bedrock version and used to shovels used to cost a shovel to make, which I think everybody in the Bedrock community disliked it. So, in the latest patch, they fixed it, which I really like. And we're basically just going to turn this bottom area to actual deep slate tiles. Eh, that, that looks good, I would say. That looks pretty good. I really like the deep sight style and the illagers. I feel like it fits with the theme of the illagers. 
so basically we have to do this layer then the other layers are going to be slab so yeah we basically just have to fill that in So we're basically gonna make so deep slate this whole interior of this building I guess you can call it is mostly gonna be made out of spruce and deep slate. Well yeah, mostly. Most of it is gonna be made out of spruce and deep slate. Not all of it, but most of it. So yeah, too bad I can't speed up the footage because I would speed it up. Yeah, I don't really care about the corners right now. Um, we just need to get going and fast. Um, well actually today I'm not on a time limit. Um, today we can make it as long as we want it to be just for today though and for a few other days there then the final layer is going to be deep slate so yeah and then oh yeah we have this what was that? A lightning sh struck, or lightning struck very close to us, which is very concerning. Oh yeah, they don't stick to slabs. Okay, well, it looks like we're gonna have to fix. And there. This isn't made for but I guess you could stay in. Now, see, for this, we're actually going to mix in some smooth basalt. Yes, I know that comes from the nether, but can be spotted in the overworld. Mud. Coarse dirt. Normal dirt. Rooted dirt. Tough. Moss, moss carpet, and dripstone, and okay, we'll, we'll have to fill it in with all the other details. But I want to replace, I want to kind of replace this sort of section with some moss and tough and, well, mud and moss and tough and all the other stuff there and we'll add some rooted dirt to the floor I think this design this sort of blends in with the deep site so I'm kind of gonna add it everywhere because it blends in with the deep site so this is sort of going to be a mine, basically. We'll try and expand it every episode. But moss carpet is going to, you know, carpet, obviously. Everywhere that we can't really reach. And some other places. Um, I want to add, like, this pattern here might as well let's put it in with mud if this zombie ever gets out and there i think this side can stay that way actually but this mine shaft looks pretty good but i want to expand it out so We're basically just going to mine a ginormous cube. Um, yes, I've done this before, so, yeah. I've made a temple before in a mountain. 
Doesn't look too good on the outside, though. Looks good on the inside. Surprisingly. And this, this is how big the temple, or wait, no, not temple, cube will be. You may be asking, what are we going to add here? I want to add a nice little centerpiece. And the rest of the blocks will be, obviously. Um, this can be turned to grass eventually, but root, some rooted dirt everywhere, m maybe mix in a little bit coarse dirt. Um, might as well add some tough to the walls. Yes, yes, we will light it up. You know what, let's just light it up right now. Lanterns, um... We can just get rid of the moss carpet. We have moss anyway. So yeah, I I really, really like this. And I really like the transition. From this, from, you know, the normal deep sleigh and all of this, into this area. I sort of want to make this area pretty nice. I don't want all of the stuff to be, you know, just this texture. So I want to keep some stone mixed into it too. Um, yeah, I think we can add the centerpiece now. But I would like to give it a nice transition first. Um, oh yeah, um, we need this, 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 and maybe a little bit of dripstone. So we're gonna have to remove the lantern. And yes, we will need some other stuff, but I want to put a spore blossom there. Um, can this only be supported in water? Well, luckily, we're going to make a nice little lake inside the mine shaft. Um, we definitely need that. Now can these be supported? So this is going to be useful for the little transition. We might as well put it on some moss. Not too much moss in here, like, n n not like in this room. Yeah, I'm just adding moss. Um, but so far, this is the mine.
But also, I want to add, there's just a few more things that I would like to add. Um, vines, yes. Glow lichen, night, natural way. Um, flowering azalea, yep. Texturize the ceiling a little bit. And, you know, kind of make it look like a lush cave. Doesn't give too much light, but does still give enough light for you to see. Um, I'm not seeing it here, so maybe here? No. Let's check out malicious foods. Cooked foods? No, I would have been cooked food. Cool. You'd think it would be with this stuff or this stuff, but I'm not seeing it. Flowers? Ground cover? No, why would it be in ground cover? Coral decorations? No, why would it be in coral decorations? Leaves? Eh. We'll, we'll use some leaves in this build. What else? Oh, that's right in my ear. Um. Let's use, um, some some of this stuff. The thing is, where are the glow berries? That was the thing that I was going to add. But I'm not seeing it. Stone? Why would it be in stone? I'm just checking every section. Crops? There it is in crops. All the way in crops. Oh yeah, I'm getting... We need to get bone meal too. Whoops. We might as well add some sweet berry bushes around. Some we want to pick, some we don't want to pick. Leave that one unpicked. 
I really, really, really like the end one. So, this one we're actually going to build in using polished deep slate. And I feel like lapis or lapis, excuse me, lapis lazuli or looks really, really good in the end. The same with the little amethyst crystals. I was hoping for a very good spawn, but okay. We can just bridge here and here, and then what's obviously we need to make it a lot bigger and nicer. Um, and we're just gonna add some details throughout the area Um, we can just add some blocks of amethyst everywhere, and some lapis lazuli ore. I just call it lapis. I feel like that's the normal way to say it, but some people call it lapis lazuli, which I'm I'm fine with you calling it that. Just I I just don't feel. I just don't think this may look like a pathway it is not a pathway it is supposed to be it is supposed to look like it is supposed to be decorated in it's supposed to be a very decorated end and I hope it looks good and I feel like redstone would be good to add here, and, um, let's add some am amethyst clusters, too, just to make it, just to make the amethyst things really, you know, make it look good. We aren't really going to worry about the um, ender dragon. We're just gonna scatter these ore around. Let's just act like these are like, you know, end plants and and they're growing all over. But we aren't just going to 
do them there. We're also going to do them on the sides. Yes, I was testing them out to see if they could go on the sides. Unfortunately, they cannot. Yeah, that's like way too tall. Let's shorten that down. But I think this looks really good. Like, you spawn here on the platform, and then you can just admire all of the uh, plants. I guess you can call them, but they're really crystals and stagomites growing all over the bridge. And, yeah. I think we should add a few more. Yeah, I'm not following the exact pattern of the world. Um... There. Oh. Let's maybe add some on the bottom and there, there. And there, there, there. 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 Um, maybe a little bit over here, too. There. Um, let's add one there. Speaking, this very well needs to be an ore area. I really like this area, especially down at the bottom. Um, let's maybe make this. Also, sorry that some of the videos aren't named. Just, I really do not want to name them. I really have some other stuff to do. I do not play these games off camera. This is, this is purely, this, this is basically, all I do in this Minecraft is do YouTube, and that's it. I do play my main account Minecraft, but other than that... <laughs> yeah, this one in stone is going to be transformed into... So if you look behind you, you'll see this. Which, you should be going forward, but if you decide to look behind you, you'll see that. Which I just broke. Oh yeah, in Java, you can... You'll be eliminated in the void, but in Bedrock, you're completely fine in the void. Just chilling. Can't place anything here, but they're still there. <laughs> Which is a lot better than, uh, I'm guessing, not being there. Unless you really don't want to be in the void, then, then in that case, you don't want to be there. Um, I also want to add these um, little ice clusters along with some crying obsidian and normal obsidian patches yeah 
Yeah, we're working on the end before the nether, which is really confusing in game logic. But, hey. Probably next episode, we'll most likely make an... We'll most likely go into the nether and make something. And let's make, um, an obsidian thing. This, this front area, I think, is looking really good, and, yep, the noise. <laughs> it is super, super satisfying. And we can just do that. It is not a pathway. <laughs> Like I said in the other one, it is not a pathway, and some edges look way too flat to me, so I am just going to add some texture to them. And so far, I am really liking this front area. Let's maybe add some ice. Yeah, I am... I may be spending time in a future episode literally decorating the whole end island, being the episode, but I'm not going to do it this episode. And it ain't going to be like, you know, it's sort of like a planet, <laughs> and um, there is no way to actually get back besides defeating the ender dragon. So... Instant health. Yes. Instant damage, yes. Well, instant health, no. That deals a pretty decent chunk. What? We'll just destroy that pillar. Yeah, that does bury any damage. Um, yeah. See you guys later.